Now, Jake has emailed into us on feedback at homeassistant.fm. Hi, Phil and Rohan. I am a new listener and fan of the show. I am now a dad to a now three-month-old girl, and I've enjoyed using my paternity leave to step up my home assistant game, especially when it comes to the baby. I have been using the Alet Dream Sock to track her vitals when sleeping at night with alarms and lights set to go off if her oxygen or heart rates were to get concerning. I'm about to get set up on energy monitoring um, to track when the bottle warmer is finished and when it was last used, since our sleep-deprived brains can never remember when we have fed her last. Um, thank you both for keeping me entertained and awake on my many late nights. Guys, we're all fathers here. Rohan, you're the newest father um, amongst us. Have you got any automations you found useful that we can share with Jake here? Yeah, first of all, congratulations, Jake. Uh, it's uh, I, I have just gone through what you're going through my little guys one now so it's uh it uh, it gets better and uh so so a couple of things that i did is so i i a friend of mine actually got me the outlet sock as well so i integrate that integrated that in um and fun fact the home assistant integration actually exposes a lot more than the outlet app does which i thought was really interesting it's a hacks integration right uh, which I thought was hilarious because I, I get way more data out of out of that. Obviously, the Outlet apps also says like, "Hey, this is what that data means," right? But uh, yeah, um, I was going to do a bunch of stuff with the Outlet, uh, Outlet, uh, but then we kind of stopped using it after a certain point. I don't know why. We just I think it was just a lot of work to when when he started being able to kick and all that stuff. But uh, the big one that we do is every night we have a sleep time. So uh, we'll just tell our voice assistant, turn on sleep time. And uh, basically what will happen is it'll do a few things. Um, it'll mute all of our, uh, not all of our, but uh, in in this side of the house, it'll mute uh, the Amazon Echoes that's behind me. Um, any any other, like we have a couple of Google Homes and, and voice PEs, whatever. It mutes all of those things just so it doesn't make a lot of noise. Um, it kills my uh, doorbell chime. I have a real link doorbell, so it'll kill that. Um, it tells, in, in, in my baby's room, there is a Amazon Echo as well. So it, this one I've actually programmed through Amazon because, uh, through, through the uh, ALEXA app, just because you, you we can't, um, do this through through home assistant uh because you can't push mp3s or anything like that but it will actually say uh turn on white noise um and so basically it'll reduce the volume on the uh on all the all the audio devices on the back of the house and then in the front it'll mute it and then uh white noise goes on and uh, nice. at a certain level mm. so that's probably the biggest one and then and then We'll do the, I have a turn on wake up, which then kind of resets all of that stuff. Um, and then, yeah. And I think that's mostly it. We, we, we didn't do anything for like bottle warmers or anything like that. Um, yeah. I think that's I'm trying to think yeah. of anything else. No, that's, that's mostly it. Yeah. Well, I always like to think of like, what activities do you want to achieve while you're holding your baby and you don't have hands free? Like, for yep. example, yep. do you want, when you walk around at night, do you want the lights to turn on automatically, but at a lower brightness level so that nobody gets awake or, you know, flash, yeah. but you still like, cause yeah, turning on the lights is always this annoying thing, right? So you're carrying and like, yeah. oh, you uh, yeah. Oh no, the neck, the head is wobbling away. You know, <laughs> you know that stuff. So, um, yeah. But yeah, the, you know, the, the the chime of the doorbell, very important one. Also during the day, right? It just yeah. you ruin the nap. The whole day is gone. Like, yeah, hundred percent. Hundred percent. Especially if and and we have we have alerts when like people approach the doorbell, right? Like so, it's like you know, person detected a doorbell or whatever. So it's like, okay mute all the ones here turn down the the echoes in the back of the house and whatever and and bring it all down right just because the last thing to your point Paul, is it, it it is the worst thing when your baby wakes up and just doesn't sleep i have so. my oldest is four and i think my two favorite automations for her um we i use philips hue lights as night lights for both kids rooms so um she likes to choose the colors in Home Assistant when it's bedtime. So she'll go in, choose on the color wheel. I want, you know, this red color. And 
we have the lights too bright for her, she won't go to sleep. So she likes to put things on what she calls extra red. So, you know, brighter red. So then I have an automation that I can then tap the um, light. Um, and then I think it's over two minutes. It will slowly fade that light down again. Cause if you fade it down straight away, she'll know, no, 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 you turn the light down. <laughs> so I have to slowly fade it down. So she re- doesn't you notice know, her lights, her eyes, her eyes can adjust. And for about a month or two, I had really good success with programming and uh, automation in the morning when motion was detected in the living room. Um, my Amazon Echoes would make an announcement for them to bring their milk bottles um, out of their bedrooms and put them in the sink. And that was beautiful. Like, you know, I'd make, uh, I think I made some um, fancy jokes using chat GPT, you know, <laughs> hey, sleepyheads, time to go get your milk bottle. And as soon as she heard it, it was like, oh my God, I've got to go get my milk bottle. Um, that of course has stopped now. I got two months <laughs> out of that and uh, now she just ignores the announcement. So now I'm back to bringing those milk bottles in. Um, <laughs> but yeah. And That's Paul, awesome. I think your kids are probably what, the oldest amongst yeah, us. Yeah, I have um, a seven and a four-year-old. My, my yeah. seven-year-old... Um, it's not an automation, but he loves the vo- Home Assistant Voice Preview Edition because instead of saying the wake words are always difficult with kids, right? So is ours. But the pressing the button to start the start the conversation, and then it has continuous conversation. You can press the button to interrupt as well, and so. He's doing all his research on Mario and Minecraft <laughs> and like modding Nintendo games and stuff. And so he just, you know, he has his, he can talk easily for like 30, 40 minutes a day, just, you know, doing wow. research. <laughs> That's cool. I love that you call it research too. <laughs> That's well, because awesome. he's not like code playing about like, you know, he used to ask like who would win in a battle between like Mario, Sonic and whatever. Uh, but now it's really about like, okay, well, in this Mario game, how does this work? Right. And how, like, he's just, I know he's just sucking it all up. And then afterwards he tries to tell all those facts to me. And that's where I have to be like, okay, wait, <laughs> Yeah, yeah. <laughs> after, right, after the fifth fact, I'm like, okay, yeah. <laughs> Hold on. I don't actually care. It's yeah. That. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 